opposed to the apartheid regime and the injustices that befell a large part of the South African population, Leon Levy was a key figure in the formation of the first non-racial trade union federation in South Africa, called the South African Congress of Trade Unions, SACTU. As president, he was not only involved in the day-to-day -day concerns related to wages and better working conditions, but also in the wider liberation struggle, finding himself arrested for high treason and eventually being forced into exile to the United Kingdom. At the age of about 23, trade unionists were being banned. And by 1954, almost the entire progressive trade union movement had lost all its leaders. And I was asked whether I would like to take a job in a couple of the trade unions and uh, I became more and more active. And uh, there were about 14 or 15 trade unions that were brave enough to resist the temptation of falling into line with uh, the current political activity of the government. I changed my point of view about the world at a very early age. And from my student days till this very moment, I've held true to a certain set of values. So in that period in Johannesburg, in the late 50s and 60s, I was finding my political feet, and they were definitely away from the kind of status quo type politics. At the same time, there was the uh, growth of the liberation movement, and uh, we came, became quite clear in our minds that when we went out to organize African workers, that their problems were about passes, their problem was about social justice, that they could not move where they wanted to, live where they wanted to. And so we realized that there was no peace, no freedom, no opportunity for African workers if there wasn't political and economic freedom for them. And so we became active both in the liberation movement and in the trade union. It, it comes from the point of deciding that, that there was something wrong with South Africa. There was something wrong with the setup, the race setup. And from that, it naturally follows, it flows, that you want to do something about it. As the years went by and we were active in all these activities, we began the campaign for the Congress of the People. That was a campaign to adopt a Freedom Charter that would be the basis of the society that we all wanted to see established in South Africa. The Freedom Charter talks about social justice, there shall be peace and freedom, there will be education for all, and uh, what kind of society, what, do you, what kind of country would you like to live in? People were writing these little, uh, writing what they wanted on little pieces of paper. They were all taken eventually to a spot in Johannesburg and they were pieced together. And the Freedom Charter was developed from 
those ideas. It was regarded as a treasonable document and uh, the police knocked at our doors early one morning, five o'clock, and arrested 156 of the leaders for on a charge of high treason. And in fact, it was the Freedom Charter that was on trial. The accused were taken to the uh, uh, local prisons, the local Pretoria prison where I was uh, incarcerated for some months at a time. And we had a bus that took us up and down from Johannesburg to Pretoria. And we were there for something like four and a half years uh, in the courtroom. Having our counsel deal with the Freedom Charter. After a period in, of detention, Leon took an exit visa from detention and um, he came to London where we started a new life together. But I have to say, it was the start of another life, but it wasn't a start of new principles. Those principles stayed with me. Um, and it was just a question of going and other, doing other things, but still always moving with exactly the same viewpoint. When we decided to come back and live in South Africa, I was determined that I wasn't going to live in Johannesburg. So coming to Cape Town after so many years was a new place altogether. We wanted to be in a free South Africa. After all, we had devoted our lives in one way or another to the cause of liberation in South Africa. And we wanted to be part of the change. Mm -hmm.